Welcome to the training video of the Canadian Beam Calculator. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this tool to design a beam and introduce a few structural design concepts. In general, the Beam Calculator is a simple design tool based on Part 4 of the National Building Code and the CSA 086 Engineering Design in Wood Standard. The Beam Calculator is supported and powered by the Woodworks Sizer software which I will briefly talk about at the end of this video. The beam calculator comes with two unit systems, metric and imperial. Here I'm going to select imperial. The next step is to specify member type. You can select between built up roof or floor beam, roof joist and floor joist. The main difference between a roof member and a floor member is the default deflection limits. For roof members, the deflection limit under snow load is the member spanned divided by 240. For floor members, the deflection under live load has a stricter limit of spanned divided by 360. Here I'm going to select built up roof beam. When it comes to species and grid, let's select SPF and number one, number two grid, as it is the most commonly available species and grid in Canada. To the right is the importance category. You can choose between no, normal, high, post-disaster, and normal part nine snow. The importance category for typical timber structure is normal. For normal structure, if your snow node input comes from part nine of the building code, you may want to select normal part nine snow. In other cases, you can select normal, which is what I'll do for this example. Let's input the main span as 10 feet and leave the cantilever span as black. The next step is to input nodes. You can input nodes as area node and point node. For that node, let's select 10 pound per square foot from the drop down and apply 40 pound per square foot for snow load. Below is where you could add additional wind uplift. Here I'm going to leave it as black. The next step is to specify tributary width. Let's first talk about what tributary weight means. Here we have a plan view of a wood floor system. For the beam in the middle, the tributary weight is half of the span on its left and half on its right. So the tributary weight is 12.2 meters. For the end beam, only half of the span on its right contributes to the tributary weight, which is 6.1 meters. Switching back to the beam calculator, I'm going to specify the tributary width as six feet. Let's also add another point dead node of 400 pound. And the location of the point node will be five feet away from the beam left support. Next is wet service and preservative treatment check boxes. If the member is exposed to an outdoor environment or has been treated and incised, you may want to check these boxes. In this example, I'm going to check both. The last step is to specify connection strength of the plies. This option is only applicable for built-up beams where you can select between plies act individually and plies act as unit. If there is sufficient connection between individual plies, you may want to toggle plies act as unit. It is more conservative to pick plies act individually. Lastly, Let's scroll down and click Calculate. The beam calculator will go through the built up beam database and output a list of sections that pass the design. In our example, the output is a 5 ply 2 by 12. If I go back and change the connection strength to plies act as unit and click Calculate, you can see that the available beams have smaller cross-sections or less number of plies. The beam calculator also displays the shear ratio, bending ratio, live and total deflection ratio, as well as the minimum bearing length required at the supports. For example, for the first available beam, it is 96% at capacity, where 100% means the beam is nodded to its full capacity. When using this tool, make sure you check the design notes so that you are familiar with the design assumptions. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Canadian Wood Council's help desk. 
Lastly, I just want to quickly point out that the BIM calculator is powered by the Canadian Wood Council's Sizer software, which is part of the Woodworks design software suite. Sizer handles more complicated loading situations and offers more design choices, such as solid timber, glue lamp, structural composite number, and cross laminated timber. You can download and try the demo version of the Woodworks software by going to Software Canadian Edition Downloads. The Design Office Suite, including Sizer, can be downloaded by clicking this link. The instructions for accessing the demo version is provided here. You can also watch the software training videos by going to Software Help and Support Canadian Training Videos. Thanks for watching.